everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be sharing my thoughts on the new formulated Skin Correct Concealer from Dior. Now, I've had this since the end of December. I've been testing it off and on throughout the month of January. Probably worn it at least a dozen times at this point. And I'm finally ready to share my thoughts with you guys and let you guys know how I feel about it and how it compares to the original Dior Skin Correct Concealer. I know that this is a holy grail for so many of you and the reformulation kind of came out of nowhere. It was almost like all of a sudden this new Skin Correct Concealer was on the Dior website. I have searched all over the internet and I've not been able to find an explanation as to why they reformulated it. I also sent an email on the 26th of December to Dior and I haven't heard back yet. So I have absolutely no idea. If and when I do receive a response from Dior, I will pin a comment down in the comment section down below with the response. I just simply ask them why the reformulation. I suspect that maybe they're trying to move into this more like natural ingredient type of formulation, something similar to the Dior Skin Glow that they just recently did. So I don't know, that's just my guess, but if I get a response, I will let you know. Now, before we get into the details about this new concealer, up here on the screen is an image of my age, my skin type, what I like and what I dislike in concealers. I always feel like it's important for the audience to know what the person behind the camera likes and dislikes, especially when it comes to complexion products. I will also list this information down in the description box down below so you guys can use it as a reference. And in the video, I'm gonna be doing a a daylight check-in and also a 12-hour check-in so you guys can see how the new formulation compares to the original. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and do a lot of close-ups, really zooming you guys in so you guys can really see how this new formula compares to the original. So let's go through the differences between the two concealers before we move into the application and all the check-ins. So the new concealer retails for $40. The original concealer retailed for $38. I mean, there's a lot of brands out there doing price increases, so it might be a combination of a few things why they decided to launch the new one at 40 instead of keeping it at 38. New concealer also was launched in 30 shades. The original had 28. They both come with 11 milligrams worth of product, which is 0.32 ounces, which is the one thing that I did really like about this concealer is that you get a lot in this little tube. So I do appreciate that. In the original Skin Correct, I have the shade three warm, and that is the exact same shade that I bought in the new one. So up here on the screen is an image of Three Warm in the original and the new shade. You'll notice that the, the new one is a little bit brighter. So to me, it has the same undertone. It just seems to be a little bit brighter, but it doesn't look that different when I apply them. On this side of my face, I'm wearing the new one. And on this side of my face, I'm wearing the original. And truthfully, I mean, I've been testing these side by side for so long. I haven't really noticed enough difference in the shades to make it that big of a deal for me. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be an issue for you. It's not like it's a dramatic difference, but there is a difference. But I think the biggest differences between the original versus the new is the ingredient list. So up here on the screen is an image of the original ingredient list versus the new. The ingredients are completely different. Everything highlighted in gray are the same ingredients, meaning that they are the same ingredients from the original formula to the new formula. Everything that's highlighted in yellow are new ingredients to the formula. Just so you guys can get an idea of the differences between the two ingredients and how they compare. Now, full disclosure, I love this Skin Correct Concealer as an actual skin corrector. How I've used the original concealer in the past is I use it as a spot conceal all over the face to kind of give me some coverage when I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer. Has it been my favorite formula underneath the eyes? I don't mind it, but it's not like my all-time favorite underneath the eyes. I definitely prefer to use this concealer as a spot conceal. And in fact, before I shook this, I would say I probably only have maybe a little bit left at the bottom. So. I was definitely in the market to get a new one, but I do really like the nice coverage and how natural it is throughout the day underneath the tinted moisturizer. That is how I will be testing the new one as well. Because I like to wear the original formula as a spot conceal, I wanted to wear the new one as a spot conceal as well, just so that for those of you that like to wear it as a spot concealing concealer like I do, so you guys can get an idea of how the new formula compares. 
And of course, I wear both of them underneath the eyes as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the application. I'm going to apply it on camera, zoom you guys in, show you guys what it looks like right after application. Then we will do a midday check-in where I take you guys outside, zoom you guys in real close, let you guys see how it's wearing. And then of course, I will come back later on this evening for a 12-hour check-in. Again, zooming in real close. And in my 12-hour check-in, I will get into my final thoughts. That is where I will share the differences that I have noticed because there are some differences between these two concealers. And if the original formula was one of your holy grails, I hope that this video will kind of give you an idea of what to expect with the new formula. So in my 12-hour check-in, I will get into all of those thoughts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the application and I'll see you guys all in my final thoughts. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this wear test of this concealer. I have my eye patches on. I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. Oh, I love some eye patches. Like I mentioned in the intro, the way I like to wear this concealer as a spot conceal, uh, that's how I've been wearing the original. So for this video, I'm gonna wear it as a spot conceal and also underneath the eyes. So typically, I will use the Hollywood Falls Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is shade five. This just kind of gives my skin some color. My dogs are playing with toys and... <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. So let's quickly go over the differences between the packaging. So you can see here that the new one has this Forever Skin Correct on the top. The original has it there on the side, but they're both very similar. So this is the new one, and I can't do it with one hand, but if I take my hand off, it focuses on my face. So this one right here is the new one. For testing purposes, I'm gonna be using the new formula on my right side and the old formula on my left. I like to give it a good shake. I have it both in the same shade. So three warm is the shade that I wear in this concealer. So I'm gonna take the new one and I'm going to go over my skin like this. This is how I traditionally wear this concealer. Oh, I had to sneeze, <laughs> so my eyes are all red. Okay, so that is the new one. Now I'm gonna take the original and put it on this side. And then I go in with my tinted moisturizer, which today I'm just gonna use the Light Wonder from Charlotte Tilbury. And I like to use a spot conceal when I wear a tinted moisturizer because it gives me the coverage and I don't have to apply a lot of product from the tinted moisturizer and try to build it to achieve coverage when I can just get it by using a concealer and then going over top. So that's pretty much how I like to wear a tinted moisturizer. And throughout the day, we're just gonna see how the coverage maintains throughout the day from the concealer. Okay, so I went ahead and put on a little bit of makeup. All right, let's go ahead and apply these as concealers. So again, we're gonna use the new one on my left side. So typically how I like to apply concealer is I like to wipe off the applicator just so that I don't put too much on. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some here and here and right there. And then I'm gonna take my concealer brush and blend it out. And then I'm gonna grab the original, do the exact same thing. Wipe off the applicator. Then I'm just gonna take a sponge and kind of tap it into the skin and make sure it's nice and blended. Okay, so I just turned down the ring light. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see this is the new one, this is the original.
I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I'm not gonna put a lot of eye makeup on, especially underneath the eyes, just so that you guys can see how this wears. I don't really like to wear a lot of eye makeup underneath the eyes when I'm testing concealer, because I feel like it can kind of interfere with the wear tests and the zooms in and stuff, so. But I don't plan on putting a lot of shadow and stuff like that or mascara, just so that you guys can really see the concealers and how they wear throughout today and not be distracted by a bunch of eye makeup. So right now it is 9.56 in the morning, so it's almost 10 a.m. So we're gonna call the wear test 10 a.m. That's it for the application. I will see you guys all in my check-ins. Okay, so I am back for a midday check-in. It is currently 4.07. I've had the concealer on for about six hours now. I'm sitting outside on my front porch. It's freezing and we have so much snow. When I get done, I'll turn you around and show you how much snow we have. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see what the concealer is looking like on my under eyes. So I put the new concealer on this side. The original is on this side. And so far to me, they look the same. I might have a little bit more concealer kind of inside the folds of the eye right here. But other than that, to me, they look pretty similar. I don't know that you would ever know I was wearing two different concealers. Now, as far as the coverage goes, it's holding up really well. Um, it hasn't faded much at all, and it's still looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you how much snow we have. It's so much, hold on. This is how much snow we have. It, we have so much snow, it's crazy. We've just been getting hammered this year, and we needed it. We were kind of low in water, so we definitely needed the snow. But anyway, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because I'm freezing, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here. I'm gonna wear this for another six hours, and when I come back, we will do some more close-ups, and then I will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so I'm back to give my 12 hour check-in and jump into my final thoughts. It, right now it is 10 o'clock, so I've officially had this on for 12 hours. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see how they are looking. And then I will put the camera back on the tripod and we'll jump into my final thoughts. Just as a reminder, this side is the new formula, this side is the original. So I'm just gonna kind of look up. I looked in the mirror before I come on camera, and it seems like I've maintained more coverage on the original side than the new side, which has been my experience throughout the time I've been testing it. It does seem like the original formula does last a little bit longer and maintains the coverage a little bit longer, but this side does look pretty good for being on for 12 hours. And now as far as the actual coverage underneath the tinted moisturizer, I think both sides look pretty good. I've lost some of the coverage right along my forehead, which is typical from just, you know, moving my hair and doing this with it and stuff. So that's pretty typical, but right along my jawline and my chin and everything, both sides look really good. So I've maintained the coverage as far as that goes. That's it for the check-in. Let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. Okay, so I do hope that that footage was helpful. Let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet and try to get to the point. My overall thoughts on this new formula, there's a lot of claims behind this new formula. It's claiming to be 24 hour wear, it's claiming to be full coverage, it's claiming to be transfer resistant, and I'll be completely honest with you, I don't think that it holds up to those claims. I feel like the original formula holds up to those claims. Like I mentioned in the intro, I have been testing this new concealer for at least a dozen times or more, and some days I don't notice a difference, and there's other days I see a huge difference. There's so many variables when it comes to that, but overall, I would say the biggest differences that I have noticed with the new versus the old is that the original formula holds up so much better and it maintains the coverage way longer than the new one. With that said, I never thought that the original concealer was a full coverage. I felt like it was more of a medium to full. You could build it to a full, but sometimes it could be a little bit crepey if you tried to build it to a full. So I never tried to do that. I would just use like a 
a color corrector or something underneath to try to help with the dark circles and then go in over top with this. We all know that the original formula and the new formula are completely different formulas. So they're not going to be the same concealer. I do think that Dior did a decent job on getting them as close as they could with having completely different ingredients. But I have to say, I don't like it when brands do this. It kind of ticks me off because there's just it's just not necessary. If they wanted a more clean formula, then create an entire concealer based on that. Why ruin a good thing? The Dior Skin Correct was a good seller for a reason. People absolutely love that concealer. Why reformulate it? If you want your brand to move, and this is just me speculating, by the way, but I suspect that they're wanting to have more clean formulas in their line. If you want that, then create an entire concealer around that. I mean, here's the thing. When it comes to the Forever Foundation, they have like two different types. Why not have two different types with this concealer? I just don't understand it. They could have made it like a Skin Correct Glow or a Skin Correct, Correct Something. Like they could have added. I don't know why they had to just completely go away with a good thing, right? Because the original formula was a good thing and holy grail for so many people, why ruin a good thing? But that's just my opinion, right? Dior can do whatever they want, obviously. I think some people will be okay with the change and I don't know that some people will even notice it, right? So there's a lot of consumers out there that don't watch YouTube, that don't stay up in the beauty world and they bought it at Nordstrom's, it's their favorite. They go back to buy it and get it, and they might not even know that it was reformulated, right? Or they might suspect that something's changed or it's different, but not know why, right? So it's not a big enough difference for the average consumer that's not paying attention to know that there's a difference, right? So good on Dior for getting it that close, right? Because I am looking for the differences between the two, I'm like, okay, what well, doesn't hold up as good as this side and this side isn't as good and this, you know, there's been up and downs. The original formula was your absolute favorite because it was long lasting and it maintained coverage throughout the day. You might notice a difference in that throughout the day, you might. I mean. The ingredients are completely different. It's a completely different concealer at the end of the day. So, and like I said, and some of you might not even notice a difference, right? Oh, if you're like me and you don't wear it as a concealer and you wear it as a spot conceal, I don't think you'll notice a difference at all. In fact, in my opinion, all the times that I've wore it as a spot conceal, it's not different. It wears the same. And the reason why I like the Skin Correct as a spot concealer under foundation is it doesn't get thick and crusty. There's certain concealers that just don't look very good on the skin. Uh, there's some concealers that are too creamy to wear underneath foundation and they kind of wipe away as you're applying foundation. There's some concealers that are too drying and they look kind of crepey, especially over texture, which is what you're using to cover it with, right? This one I have always loved because it's really smooth over those areas and it doesn't get crusty. And the original formula and the new formula, they're the same in that regard. They just don't look different, in my opinion, as a skin corrector. The, under the eyes, there are some differences, there are. And I've, I've noticed that the new one is a little bit thinner of a formula versus the original. The original is a little thicker. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit creamier than the, than the new one. When I first started testing it, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot stand this new concealer. It is terrible. And then the more I kept wearing it and the more I kept wearing it, over the last two or three weeks, there's been days that I've not really noticed a difference. And so as it's as I've continued to wear it, I'm like, you know what? I don't hate it as bad as I begin I did in the beginning. When I like the first few days that I started testing this, I was like, this is awful. People are gonna be so mad. And then as I continue to wear it, there were days that it looked really pretty and I was like, okay, well maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. And so it just made me pay more attention f because I was having such up and down experiences. But overall, you might notice a few differences between the two. Is it big enough to say that it, they've completely ruined the formula? No, I think they did a decent enough job trying to get it as close to the original as they could with completely different ingredients. Mm, 
I think the mistake they made is just not creating a new concealer. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know why they needed to do replace that original formula. It's kind of dumb, but Dior is on a roll with that. I mean, they did it with their foundation. I mean, I guess we should have suspected that Skin Correct would be next. I don't know. Anyways, that's my review. I do hope that the video was helpful and all the footage. Sound off down below how many of you guys have absolutely loved the original formula and have you bought the new formula? And if you have, what has been your experience? Do you feel like there's a difference between the two or do you not notice a difference at all? I'm so curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I, I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.